Heartland Baptist Bible College's first five years in Oklahoma City were characterized by ever-increasing financial and institutional stability. This stability provided an essential foundation for the following decade of growth and development. The following decade, 2003 through 2013, was still a time of rapid change for Heartland. But the change was not doctrinal, philosophical, or even another relocation. Instead, it was a thriving season of spiritual and organizational progress that continues to influence Heartland Baptist Bible College today. The first and perhaps most impactful change from this decade came at the beginning of it. In the fall of 2003, Jason Gaddis left the pastorate in Republic, Missouri to become the college and career director at Southwest Baptist Church. Brother Jason and his wife, Miss Angie, made an immediate and positive difference at both the church and the college. And it wasn't long before most could see that the Lord had more in store for the Gaddises than their initial role. Also in the fall of 2003, Brother Sam Davison began teaching Heartland's Keystone Third Year Homiletics course. Brother Sam's giftedness for preaching and his characteristic passion for expository preaching were invested into the homiletic students for the next 18 years. And Brother Gaddis worked alongside Brother Sam in the practice preaching course for the first several of those years. Brother Gaddis was not the only new arrival during this decade to make an impact on the college. In the fall of 2004, Brother Ed Pearson left the pastorate in Trafalgar, Indiana and became the Bible Department Chairman. In the spring of 2005, Brother Keith Hainline left the mission field of Kenya to lead the missions department. And in the fall of 2011, Brother Don Babishak left his role as Christian School Administrator in St. Joseph, Missouri to eventually lead the education department. These men added joyful and experienced guidance to the lives of the students and faculty. In the midst of these great additions to the Heartland family, there were also times of unexpected departures and heartache. On January 5th, 2008, Brother Floyd Sheck Snyder went to heaven. Through his ministry as the song leader at Southwest Baptist Church and the music department chairman at Heartland Baptist Bible College, Brother Floyd had touched many lives and his absence was keenly felt in both environments. A couple of years after Brother Floyd's passing, in September 2010, Coach Mike Thomas also went to heaven. Coach Thomas's investment in Heartland intramural sports and in the education department were also deeply missed. Today, buildings on the campus are named in honor of both of those men. Beginning in 2005, Heartland Baptist Bible College initiated a series of organizational expansions. That fall, Heartland Baptist Seminary was founded to provide additional practical sharpening for those God led to participate. Since the seminary's inception, 59 men have graduated from its Master of Ministry program. Also in 2005, Brother Marshall Stevens led in a renewal and expansion of the Pacific Coast Heartland Alumni Association and the association's effort to keep graduates connected and giving back have been a significant boost to the college's health and synergy. Heartland's continued growth required additional and updated facilities, and from 2003 to 2013, the college undertook several major building and renovation projects. In spring 2004, female students moved into the last of three new house-style ladies' dorms, this final one being called Peace Dorm. On December 7, 2010, after years of fundraising, planning, and construction, the first chapel service was held in a brand new on-campus auditorium, which was dedicated and named the Sam Davison Biblical Preaching Center on May 9, 2011.
Brother Sam began preparing Southwest Baptist Church in the mid-2000s for an eventual pastoral transition. So I've tried to use the staff, but as of this very hour, this isn't my staff anymore. It's not mine. And I'm thankful for the 20 years God's put it in my hand. I'm very, very thankful. If I start testifying, looking around this room about how the sheep have been such a blessing, encouragement to my little wife and to me, and to our son, and our daughters, we've loved our grandchildren and they come around, my goodness, it's just been wonderful. It has. But this is not my staff anymore. I'm gonna ask Brother Jason to come. He knows as well as anybody that you are not his sheep like I know you're not my sheep. You're his sheep. We're just under shepherds. I'm so thankful, Brother Jason, that God brought you into my life and into our lives. And at 12.08, on this second day of May, 2010, it's yours. With that same determination to follow God into the future, Brother Sam remained the college's president for several more years. Through all of the changes, the property developments, organizational expansions, and personnel transitions, God was helping Heartland to move forward. The Lord was calling laborers into the ministry, and He was leading them to train at Heartland. Enrollment grew steadily from 2003 until a recession took hold in 2009, with a high enrollment of 487 in the fall of 2008. Even through difficult financial times, though, the Lord was also providing the resources the college needed. From 2003 to 2013, Heartland received a strong May College offering each year, with a total offering for the decade exceeding $7.3 million. Perhaps the most encouraging reality, one that became clearer as the decade was ending, was the number and the quality of Heartland Baptist Bible College graduates who were entering the ministry. Teachers with a biblical philosophy of Christian education, musicians with a joyful and conservative leadership style, missionaries with a zeal for lost souls and for the gospel, preachers with a distinctive passion for clear biblical exposition, through these laborers who were persisting and thriving in ministry, everyone was beginning to see. Not only had God burdened the college's leaders with a worthy, ministry-focused training mission, not only was God providing for the mission with students, funds, and spiritual leadership, but God was blessing the training itself with graduates who were making a difference for Christ. By God's grace and for His glory, Heartland Baptist Bible College's efforts to preach the Word and to reach the world were working.